Francis Guthrie was a South African mathematician and botanist who first posed the four-color problem in 1852. At the time, Guthrie was a student of Augustus de Morgan at University College London. He studied under John Lindley, professor of botany at the University of London. Guthrie obtained his B.A. in 1850 and Ul.B. in 1852 with first-class honors. While coloring a map of the counties of England, he noticed that at least four colors were required so that no two regions sharing a common border were the same color. He postulated that four colors would be sufficient to color any map. This became known as the four-color problem, and remained one of the most famous unsolved problems in topology for more than a century, until it was eventually proven in 1976 using a controversial computer-aided proof which was lengthy and inelegant. Guthrie arrived in South Africa on 10 April 1861 and was met and entertained by Dr. Dale, who was instrumental in the establishing of the University of the Cape of Good Hope in June 1873. Guthrie took up the post of mathematics master at the Graf Rienet College. While there he gave a course of acclaimed public lectures on botany in 1862 and thus started a lifelong friendship with local resident Harry Bolis. He advised Bolis to take up the study of botany to ease his grief at the loss of his six-year-old son. When Bolis left for Cape Town a few years later, he persuaded Guthrie to move there as well in 1875. For a while he practiced at the bar and edited a newspaper before becoming professor of mathematics at the South African College, which later became the University of Cape Town. He remained there from 1876 until he retired in 1898, staying on his farm at Rappenberg, when Bolas undertook to do the family of Eric ACE for Flora Capensis. He enlisted Guthrie's aid and they collaborated until Guthrie's death. Before his death, Guthrie had made an extensive collection of the Cape Peninsula flora, which was eventually housed as the Guthrie Herbarium in the University of Cape Town Botany Department, and used for teaching and reference. Though Guthrie did not live to see the published work, he had the satisfaction of knowing that the greater part of the work on Erica had been completed. He is buried in the old cemetery attached to St. Thomas's Church in Rondebosch. He was described as being warm-hearted, good-humoured, patient, and unpretentious. The scope of his interests was diverse, and ranged from a lecture titled, The Heat of the Sun in South Africa, in which he pointed out that it must be possible to transform solar energy into mechanical power, to aeronautics, where he was involved in the development of the first aircraft. Although dubbed the inventor of the first flying machine, no documentation of his work exists. Some fine boss species from the bred as Dorperia were named after him. Gladiolus guthria, Erica guthria and Homoglossum guthria, as well as the genus Guthria bolis. Seatanthus guthria was named after his daughter Louisa guthria, who was also a botanist. The new genus Guthria was collected by Harry Bolis from Alderberg in the Graf Rienet district, and also recorded from the Witterbergen in the Barclay East district and Monto sources in Natal. To date, no other species in this genus has been found. Guthrie was an early member of the South African Philosophical Society, an active member of the Meteorological Commission and an examiner of the Cape University. The standard author abbreviation Guthrie is used to indicate this individual as the author when citing a botanical name.